What's going on guys and welcome to the channel. All right, check this out. Fish season 2024 is in full swing. So you know what that means. All the fast food spots are gonna be coming out with fish sandwiches. So as you can tell by the title to this review, I'm headed into one said fast food restaurant, in this case, Jack in the Box, to check out their all new fish wraps. And we're not gonna do just one, we're doing two. And of course I'm gonna explain. So let's hit that drive through first thing and then we'll get it going. So sit tight because they're up next for you. As always, I'm Ian Kay, and you're about to peep this out. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Welcome, Hey, my friend, how are you doing today? Good. good, good, good. You know, Peep This Out, I've got a mobile order pickup for Ian K for the two fish wraps, one classic, one spicy. Yep. Okay. Thank you, brother. Thank you. All right. All right, well, that was fast. So guys, fish season in full effect 2024, and I can't wait to give this a shot over here at Jack in the Box. And naturally, since I've never really had a fish wrap technically, I mean, wraps are all the rage right now. Anything over at Carl's Jr. and obviously Wendy's and uh, BK without a doubt, of course. Curious to see what Jack's variation is gonna be and to satisfy people for Lent on top of it. So I'm hoping this is gonna be good. And hey, given the ingredients list on these wraps, how could it not? I think this is gonna be pretty tasty, I have a feeling. So who do you think has the best fast food fish? Drop it in the comments down below and let me know. Hey, brother. Hello. Hey, dude. Sausage with a hash brown and regular iced um, vanilla coffee. Oh, uh, no, two fish wraps, one classic, one spicy. For Ian, Ian K. Okay, let me adjust here. So no extreme sausage? Uh, no. No? Yeah, just the two fish wraps, just one spicy, one classic, that's all. Sounds good, though. Okay, two fish wraps, one classic, one spicy? Yeah, it's a mobile order. It should be a pickup for Ian. Oh, your mobile order? Yeah. Oh. Okay, my bad. <laughs> Sorry. Hopefully you didn't cancel that guy's order behind me. I don't think so. All right. <laughs> okay. I'll get it for you. Thanks, brother. That would be bad. Thank you, brother. Take care, all right? Stay frosty. We'll see ya. All right, guys. The bag is secured. Let's peep this out. Well, these are looking like two fish half wraps, guys. I mean, I know it's two for five and all, but is that really like two for one? Because this technically feels like one, to be honest. Take a look at these tortillas here. I mean, they look pretty decent on the inside, as you can see. And of course, I'm gonna break them on down for you fully before we get into them. But man, a little on the tiny side. What are you gonna do? All right, so here we go with the fish wraps over here at Jack in the Box. Again, the two for five promo. What I've got here is a warm flour tortilla, and on the inside, we're gonna find some wild-caught Alaskan Pollock that is covered with cheddar cheese, lettuce, tartar sauce, and pickles. And as you can see, it looks fairly decent even though half the tortilla is filled. So Jack, what's going on here? I thought it was gonna be just a little bit more filled out considering how these looked on your menu board. So that's just a little disappointing. Off to the side, I've got the spicy variant, which is all the same ingredients from the first one with the exception of adding jalapenos. It looks like only two of them in there and it looks like a spicy sauce to go with. So obviously I'm expecting a little bit of heat from that as well. So pretty decent, at least there guys, that's looking pretty nice. But I gotta come back to it a little on the small side nonetheless. So guys, there you go. These are the all new fish wraps over here at Jack in the Box, the two for five. Let's peep out this flavor. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to not keep talking about that throughout the review because when you put these together, you essentially have a regular wrap here, guys. It is what it is. So a little mini fish action that you have on the inside of there. And the only difference obviously is gonna be, it looks like that spicy sauce and uh, some jalapeno action. So let's just give it a shot. I'm very curious to see. Again, it's my first time having a fish wrap, at least like this, especially over here at Jack in the Box. This is the classic variant. Let's peep this one out. Mmm. Tartar sauce, that's not bad. Got a zip to it. Yeah, that's got some definite zip to it, guys. That is really very tangy. It's really getting me in the back of my throat. Very, very nice on this one here. And as you can see, the fish is not bad. That first bite had a little bit of everything. The pickle and the tartar sauce is pretty amazing on this. A little bit of the creaminess of that cheese on top of that. But again, the flakiness is coming through with that fish. It's looking pretty nice in this close up here, guys. Very appetizing. But just after that first bite, this is looking like maybe a five biter tops, give or take here. So let's just keep going in, guys. Again, the flavor is pretty nice, but very, very small. Let's keep going in. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, the tang and the sweetness on that tartar sauce is coming through beautifully, guys. But the pickle is the wild card with this one. The acidity snap and crunch I'm getting from that is adding such amazing flavor to this. And naturally, with the fish on the inside, very, very nice. The cheese coming up on the back end, but just a lot of tortillas. So I'm digging this, guys. It's tasty, but again, small. Let's go for a few more bites and we're getting into that spicy variant. Hang on one sec. Mmm. Nice. Yeah, that's a hearty bite, guys. And I think I see why they're doing the two for five here because naturally it's really one big fish situation that you've got here for five bucks. That's how I'm kind of looking at it. But just a lot of tortilla at the same time as well. And the fish is decent. It's got a light breading on it. The flakiness is pretty there. It really feels pretty fresh. But not bad, guys. Not bad whatsoever. Let's go for one more little quickie bite on this one and then we'll get into that spicy variant. It's very tasty, though, for what it is. Hmm. Yeah, this is a pretty tasty little snack, guys, and considering all the hoopla right now with the chicken wraps from all the major fast food chains, it's nice to see that Jack in the Box is doing something a little different with fish, which is pretty nice. So this is probably going to signal the other guys to maybe do the same thing, because this actually works pretty nicely here. So speaking of working pretty nicely, let's see if the spicy action version of this is going to be just as tasty, because, guys, there's only two jalapenos in this, and I'm getting the first one up front. Hopefully that sauce is going to deliver. Here we go. This is the spicy variant of the fish wrap over here at Jack in the Box. Let's peep this out. Mmm. Mmm. It's working. Definitely working. Yeah, that's definitely working. I don't know if I'm even tasting tartar sauce in that because the spicy sauce is definitely up there. It's nothing crazy at all, but guys, very tasty with the fish especially. That's a nice combination right there. And again, with plenty of the tortilla action. As you can see, this one looks like a thicker piece of fish here, and that breading is really on display nicely for you. Not bad. I'd probably say about maybe 80% fish and then 20% coating. It's pretty nice so far in this one. And I'm digging the slight sizzle with this one. This definitely has a little bit more flavor compared to the other, but it's just different enough where you'd want to get one of each. And I see why that's the default when you order this in the app. You're actually getting a classic and the spicy already because they figured you're going to do that. So nice going there, Jack. Nice going. Let's keep going in on this one. Mmm. Oh, this is good. This one is good. You know, I'm almost thinking this is that spicy good good sauce I've actually had on a few other items here in the past, guys. Pretty tasty, though, but I have to say it adds such a beautiful flavor dimension to this one on top of what's already here. And naturally with the lettuce, which I'm kind of tasting, it's kind of there for color. Really, really nice. But again, it's a lot of tortilla at the same time, uh, but it is what it is. So not bad on this. Let's go for another couple of quick bites. This is a very tasty variant of the fish wrap over here at Jack. Let's keep going in. There is plenty of sauce on this. Plenty of sauce. I like it. Or as Fox 250 might say, he loved it. So yeah, guys, a nice little lovely fish situation to go in on here this week before the next atmospheric river rose into Southern California this coming weekend. It's going to be another wet one. We're expecting about six inches of rain. Perfect time to have some fish beforehand, right? Or maybe during the rainstorm. I think that would be more appropriate. But hey, it is what it is. Very tasty for what this one is, guys. And again, that combination of the spicy sauce is a banging deal indeed. So let's go for one more bite. We'll wrap the review with the rating coming up next overall. And then we'll move on with the day, shall we? So let's go for one more bite and we'll wrap it up. Hang on. Well, if you guys are going to order these on the app, keep it default and go for one classic, one spicy, because I think you are going to dig the overall flavor. And actually, the tartar sauce zip that I'm getting with this one is very, very strong. And then, of course, with that, what I'm thinking is spicy, good, good sauce. You have a nice little duality of flavors with this one. It's a nice little sample of each, although I do wish it was a little bit larger. What you're getting here is a very lovely situation, especially for the snack aspect of what this is. Guys, it's a fish wrap. Pretty tasty for what this is as well. Order on Uber Eats, Postmates, and Grubhub. Yeah, I would definitely rock those again, guys. I mean, the quality of the fish itself was actually pretty tasty, but the main draw with this naturally, aside from it being a fish item on the menu, is the fact that the sauce is being so different. I mean, naturally, the tartar sauce is a banging situation. Pairing that up with the spicy variant, you have a little bit of back and forth there. Pretty nice. So overall, I'm going to have to give the fish wraps over here at Jack in the Box a pretty decent 8 out of 10. It's a little on the small side, but naturally, they're very hearty bites. But like I said, it's all about those condiments that are on the top. The pickles especially are a beautiful combination, whether it's the spicy good good sauce, which I'm thinking, or the tartar sauce. You've got a nice little bit of flavor either way. Very solid on this one, guys. If you've got Jack in the area, give it a shot. It's pretty tasty.
All right, so do me a quick favor like always. Drop those comments down below. Aside from letting me know who you think does the best fast food fish out there, what did you guys think of the presentation of these fish wraps over here at Jack in the Box? And if you've given them both a shot, which is your personal favorite and why? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Eye Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for the next video coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey guys, I'd like to take a quick moment to thank all of our YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters. Guys, thank you so very much for your monthly contribution to the channel. It's because of your direct support that the channel continues to grow and you really do help me to keep delivering the content that you want to see. I couldn't do it without you and I seriously appreciate the love and support. Thanks again for all you do and for being such a big part of our positive community here on the platform. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along that I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.